Hello, and thank you for calling Built Right. We are currently closed, but if you know your prepared to say... <laughs> <laughs> you get some crazy echoes going on here. That's incredible. <laughs> Welcome back to Building Built Right. Matt here. Uh, as you've seen over the course of the last few weeks, we are straddling the line still between operations and keeping the business moving and completing our move-in. So one of the things we're going to do this week is tie up some loose ends when it comes to privacy and security. The first of those things is some etched vinyl on the windows. We have a lot of glass here. And what we're finding as we're working here is it kind of feels like you're a little bit on display. Um, also, there's a lot of activity kind of at night out on the street, and we just want to make things as uninviting as possible. So uh, we'll be putting some vinyl on the windows. Uh, the next thing we'll be doing is working on our electronic access system. So every one of our doors has an electric strike or electric control. We can control them all individually, and we can use key fobs to do that. So we're going to kind of finish setting some of that stuff up. The last thing we're going to do is not really security related, but it's, it's kind of tied into the same system which is our phone system. We have not really ever had a proper phone system. We frankly, until now, have all shared the same one office room where we just yell at each other. But now we need a way to communicate. So we're gonna show you, uh, hopefully, setting up some of that. Um, we'll probably touch on cameras in a different video because that's kind of a fun thing also. Um, check it out. The man, the myth, the legend, the vinyl applicator. Oh, it's a bubble. All right, don't touch it. Pardon the wind noise if there is any, but then this is what it looks like from the outside. Before, here's after. Using a fresh razor blade to clean the windows off. I got a mixture spray bottle here that's got water, four or five drops of dish soap, and some uh, isopropyl alcohol. So we're getting the window. We can't use glass cleaner because those have like lubricants and stuff in them, dyes, and oh. we want the window to actually be clean. So, be nice if I had nothing else to do. <laughs> And I can take my time and just enjoy it because it's kind of it's strangely uh, satisfying. Yeah, so it's an Orkel brand vinyl that has some sort of like metallic flake. I'm not sure why they do that. That's what makes it look etched instead of just like a haze. Okay. It's nice. Either way, it looks it looks good. I'm just trying to keep everything uh, wet so we don't stick. More or less, lock it into place. All right, so we just finished um, frosting the main garage door glass, as well as the man door, which is kind of the employee entrance in our kind of main shop area. This is this will be the R&D area. Uh, in our other space, where we'll be doing kind of some more storage, we're gonna fully frost the glass on those windows and those doors. It looks really good, definitely uh, does the job. I always look for my age on the lucky numbers, and I got it today with 27. That is nice. I'm gonna try another portion. Service is the rent you pay for having room on the earth. What? See, like, this this one's a stretch. Service is the rent you pay for having room on the earth. Oh, service no. as in, like, community service? Chris, do you think we need a new printer? No, it's fine. I don't even <laughs> want a new printer. It's, it's kind of making sure that you don't print, print shit you don't need. <laughs> like, you're not wasting paper when your printer's making or that noise. Like, the printer was servicing Chris. I thought maybe I'd need to wait outside or something. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been bouncing between the different lunch spots around New Milford. And Dennis has been trying to get someone to write this for so fucking long, and they finally did it. He's very happy. <laughs> We got two options. Again, the way we've been doing it, or we enlist Max's help, even though he's filming. I can help. You need those lady nails or something, you know? <laughs> you don't need whatever the fuck I got. I got like nuts. All right, pose me down. All right, <laughs> tell me when. Maybe Max just hose it down. Okay. Uh. And Maddie and I.
a nice window, but really you can't see anything that's going on unless, say, Matt's really close to the window. The guys are outside right now looking at it and you can just kind of see their shapes. Enjoy the last of being able to see out of your office. I know, and now people are just gonna fucking sneak up on me. Right, I want, I want to make sure you guys lose track of what time it is during the day. <laughs> we have a friend who once used her lunch pail during a bad commute to take a dump in the back. <laughs> <laughs> have it ever done that? He also did the three small windows in each garage door, and he also did that in the garage door next to the break room. We got the fridge moved from that expansion space into the break room as well. Here's the other window frosting. Check out the break room. Oh, that looks great. Look at that microwave, fridge. We come up the stairs to the mezzanine. You'll find my current editing suite. Set up on this. Oh, it has face on it too. Can get some crazy echoes going on here. The other thing too is if a person requests access, so like our front door will have a, a card reader on it that you can also swipe on. So if somebody can come to the front door, request access, and we can select which phones that request goes to, but it'll show the live video of outside the front door. Wow. And then from the phone, you can grant access. Now we're in here, we can see all of the phones, everything. I'm gonna set up a smart attendant. Electronic. This feels like we're This feels back to the doorbell, yeah. <laughs> doorbell vibes. Can we make our own? Uh... We can upload our own. Oh, so we could have fun with this. All right, I'm gonna go with upbeat, and then the whole music will be the same. We'll upload our own, that'll be fun. Hello, thank you for calling us. That doesn't feel like Bill Wright, does it? Um... Maybe voice two will be better. Hello. Thank you for calling us. No, no, no. It's a little bad. bit better, but I wish we could do like a, a, a southern accent. Leah could do a southern accent, probably. <laughs> Hello, and thank you for calling Built Right. We are currently closed, but if you know your prepared to say... Fucking this brings me right back to fucking trying to record your bullshit. Yep, I was going to say, this is Install Guides 101. Hello, and thank you for calling Built Right. If you know your party's extension, please dial it now. Otherwise, listen for your options. So we can set it up so that it'll ring two times at yours and then two times at Leah's. Hmm, okay. Or we could set it up to ring a group. So I didn't set up a marketing group yet, but I could. So now there's like a visual path, right? If you call customer service during business hours, you hear this and then it goes to these three options, these three people. If you call outside of business hours. It's a slick software. So now, let's try it. Call it now. Hello and thank you for calling Built Right Industries. Press two for product development. Press three for marketing and communication. Nice, there we go. Ring back and Maddie's phone's ringing. Press three for marketing and communications. Save recording. There That's the button that I should hit. So now if I press one. Press three for marketing and communications. Chris's phone should ring. Just testing the voicemail. Cool. Pretty slick. I love it. This is like what the uh, standard key fob readers look like. This key fob hasn't been programmed, so it's not gonna allow access. I can unlock and lock via my phone. I can also create, like let's say we were gonna have a visitor. First name, visitor, Bob. So this is visitor Bob. We're gonna program this. I'm gonna program it at my office here. Wow. It's that fast, man. Done. Save. I'm gonna say that Bob is here till the end of the day today, midnight today, and I'm gonna say that he's allowed to access only the conference room. All right. So Bob's allowed to only access the conference room. So this, hmm. that's no go. And in fact, I can see here that Bob just tried and failed to access the conference room at 11:25. Or you're at my office. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. And then this, if Bob happens to walk out the door with it, 
doesn't matter, it's not going to be active after midnight. Yeah. Or if uh, somebody angrily quits, you can lock them out one, one click, they're locked out and their card isn't accessible. So this was a big thing for me because you have keys and if you don't get your keys back or somebody duplicates one without your knowing, mm -hmm. you're exposed. Yes. And there's not really, keys are not very secure. No. Um, no our master keys all say do not duplicate on them. And I took them to the locksmith up there and he made copies for me. This is just a really nice way to know that you have kind of control. Yeah. So maybe I sound like a freak talking about this stuff, but. No, if anything, this is the, the security. It's important for, for all of us, right? Yeah. I'm gonna finish installing the, the fob readers. These, the Ubiquity calls these the reader light. And then the Reader Pro is what we're gonna put on the front door. That's the one with the swipe access with the camera identification. I love that it's all one interface, all one program. There's no daisy chaining anything. Yep. It can all be managed remotely from anywhere in the world. Yeah. For a small business like us that likes some of these techie things and likes to experiment, learn new things, have some interesting capability, it's kind of perfect. Yeah. If somebody were to break in, somehow get access to our primary IT room, mm -hmm. all of our video is being logged at a separate location in the building and offsite. So it's not as if somebody could like erase the tapes or yeah. whatever. Like, yeah. That's not really a thing anymore. We're covering our butts. Yeah, like I said, I feel a little bit like a crazy person sometimes, but there's when you're starting from scratch, new building, there's just not really a reason to come up short on, yeah. on security and, and access and surveillance. All right, so with that, another crazy week at BuiltRight. We didn't make it quite as far as we wanted to with the electronic access. Part of that is it's snowing like crazy outside. Uh, we did get the phones set up. Those are ready to go for when we're allowed to use our offices. We're already enjoying the added privacy of having this film on the windows, just making it a little bit harder for people to poke around uh, when we're here and more importantly, when we're not here. So next week, we've got a lot going on. We're gonna continue this move in slash operations balance, and then we'll move our plasma table into location there. So we're probably gonna replace that with a laser here soon, but we do still need to be making prototypes and doing some production on that. So we will show you that next week if all goes as planned. Check it out. <laughs> 